This is Malik Abdelgader, Electrical Sales Engineer with Evolve MEP, and today I'm going to give a brief overview of how Evolve tackles hangers and supports for electrical conduit. So to begin, we would first check our hanger placement settings. And from here, we can either select an existing profile or create a new placement profile. And the profile is going to set the rules or parameters for how the hangers will be placed along our runs. Uh, so for this eight foot spacing profile, it will place the hangers every eight feet with, you know, eight foot spacing on the hangers. Um, we also have settings for mineral lock hangers or minis for single conduit. And we also have our family settings, uh, you know, for adjusting the strut size and strut type, uh, you know, the conduit position on the hangers, uh, as well as uh, center rod settings. Um, so if we want, we can set a minimum width for the hangers. And if that minimum width is exceeded, the software automatically plays a center rod. And we also have our clash highlight color settings. Um, we can set any color that we want. So when we run our clash detection, if there are clashes, they will be highlighted orange. And then we can set the tolerance for our clash detection and then how the software will make adjustments based on that clash detection. So we will go ahead and apply an OK. And then we can actually come into our hanger placement tool. And we will select the profile that we have, the eight foot spacing. And we have three different modes of placing the hangers. We can either do entire path. So once a run is selected, it will place hangers along the entire path of that run. We can do up to a change of direction. So the command will run until a bend or change of direction is reached and then the command will end. Or we can do single hanger, which allows us to kind of continually place single hangers uh, along the run and kind of gives us some more freedom on how those hangers can be placed. Uh, so for our purposes, we will be doing entire path. So we'll press OK. And we'll select the runs and press finish. And then we select the direction that we want it to traverse. And now what the software has done, it has opened a 3D temporary view that has everything turned on to actually run its clash detection. Um, if you don't want this option, you can turn off clash detection uh, and the 3D view will not be generated as this could slow down larger projects. So as you can see, the hangers have been placed automatically along the runs that we selected. And it also automatically detected whether a three-tier or two-tier trapeze was needed for that segment of the run. And now we can run our clash detection for our hangers. So we can come up to our clash detection tool. And we can set a tolerance. So if we set the tolerance to zero inches, that will basically be if anything overlaps. Uh, if we want kind of a more working space tolerance, we could set three inches or so. So that way, if anything even comes within the area, it will be detected. But for our purposes, we'll go ahead and set zero inches and press OK. And as you can see, all the clash items have been highlighted orange. Uh, once we've checked these items and if we're OK and determine that these clashes are fine or these specific hangers are fine, then we can come in and clear our, our clashes. And then we are good to go from that point. So uh, it's kind of, again, a brief overview of how Evolve Electrical tackles uh, hangers and supports. Thank you.